A stars and stripes. We're live. Hi, everybody. Hey, can you see us? Can you hear us? We, I've been told we are live. I, I can see, I think, that I'm live. But can you see that we're live? Do we exist? These are the questions. Can't hear Nick, though. Okay. That was a question. Hi, everybody. We are live. We're going to try to sort out Nick's audio uh, in just one quick second here. Um, do defaults. Does that change anything? Go and speak, Nick. You're louder to me now. Do we have a Nick? Hi, everybody. Thanks for saying stuff in chat. I, if no one else is getting it, I'm getting it. Can't hear him still. Okay. Um, I know. So I should be doing all the talking. So Nick is saying that it's weird because uh, we're doing this thing. It's an OBS virtual input. So we're using OBS on our side and we are uh, trying to pull in. <laughs> I'll go back to my high powered, nice microphone. All right, we're gonna see if Nick can uh, pop into Restream himself and uh, um, he can pop up in there and have his own audio and stuff and I'll just shut him down over here. So one second. Um. So bear with us. What we're going to be doing, folks, by the way, while we're getting this sorted out, we are going to be doing a live board game quiz. So this is going to be super duper fun, something that everyone can participate in from uh, from wherever you are. If you have a phone, if you're sitting on a computer, you can play right along from home. In fact, what we can start to do while we get this all sorted out, if I can find myself, hello, what do I need to click on? You. Um what you can do is you can click down there at the bottom. If you go to crowd.live and enter in the little code right there, um, that will put you into uh, – Nick is on now. Sweet. Uh, can you hear me, Mikey? I don't know. Can people hear me? I can. I can, I can, hear, I can hear you. Can you hear I'm me? I'm also with me. I can hear you. We can hear okay. both of you. Awesome. Tight. Uh, okay. Did my, my did my audio go back to good when I switched back to this? It, it had better have. Uh, oh, Twin Flower in chat says, I hear both. Awesome. The chat is right here. How lovely is that? This is nice. This is very nice. Um, is your uh, camera on, Nick? Or uh, it is on. Um, I am on in here. I don't know if Rainer can pop me in over. If not, no that. worries. We have your, we have your, your. My camera is on in the voice. restream. Indeed. Okay. Oh, oh, there I am. I'm in the bottom corner now. Look at that. Crazy. You are always, Nick, here's this the thing. You insane. are always in the bottom corner, man. Don't put baby in a corner. Don't put Nikki in a faucet. Don't, don't put Nikki in a cabinet. That's what I always oh. say. Don't put Nikki uh, in a cabinet. We've been <laughs> saying that. All right. Yay. We have a Nick. Woohoo. Hi, everybody. That's very exciting. Okay. Okay, cool. Very We've never done cool. this in this particular I know. configuration with Rainer, all the streams. Rainer, if we have so. the power to switch Nick over to the other corner, cool. If not, don't I will worry block about and it. Stuff. If not, I will quit. You are actually kind of in a perfect spot. You're actually probably okay there. So anyway, if you go to <laughs> crowd.live and enter in that code, that'll be scrolling there at the bottom. You can join the quiz. It's something you can participate in remotely. Yeah, we'll the... This is a, uh, a live quiz that will be – you'll input answers. We're going to have some multiple choice. We're going to have some type in answer things. Everything that you submit and stuff will go in live. We'll be able to see all the answers coming in. We'll be able to check correct um, answers and stuff like that. And we're going to be playing four rounds of board game specific trivia. Um Perfect. Uh, that's going to be just about all the games you love. We're going to have we're going to have some uh, board yeah. and dice uh, specific uh, things you'll see popping up in in some of the rounds and stuff. Uh, since we are here, part of Board and Dice Con, um, it's going to be super fun. We try to keep it just kind of easy, light, and bright. This is something that is cool because it's completely casual. You can join in at any point, even on the very last question. You can ask, say, "I want to play now," and you can jump in. So. If uh, if you come in late or if you're sort of uh, in and out, just participate as much as you like. It's it's uh, free and fun for everyone. We always say so. Again, go to crowd.live, Enter in five b m six nine is the quiz code. You can make a yeah, little trying to for yourself. Put it in the chat, but it got modded. So if someone could pop oh. in the chat, it's just crowd.live slash five b m six nine, and you enter your there name you in there. Exactly. So we're gonna be playing four rounds. Like I said, four rounds of uh, of trivia. Heck yeah. All, all based around Thank board you, Rainer. games. Rainer's taking care of us. We appreciate you. Thank you to Indeed. Board Nights for having us, by the way. We really appreciate it. I hope yeah, the first show quiz. went Our well. Second quiz we've done for them, yeah? 
Yeah, we did. We did a quiz. Um, was it last well, I guess fall, summer, summer? Last fall. We did summer. one specifically We did one for, for like four board and dice. It was like the yeah, little kind of board, Like the company retreat. of board and dice yeah. did it for their peoples. Super fun. That was really a fun time. And they know more about their own games than we know about their games, Mike. That was what I found out about they that They do, thing. but then it was also <laughs> fun when they didn't get some things right because – Yes, and we could like, shame oh, them publicly – I'm that was bad awesome. in front of the old boss, as it was. So. <laughs> from the old boss. <laughs> um, so, like I said, we're going to be doing four rounds. We have, uh, oh, I have the wrong, uh, I think I'll start with this round. Um, we have a round called Board and Dice, which is going to be general. Um, I'm going to kind of give you overviews of games. And the way it's going to work is that each game, they won't all be Board and Dice games or anything, but each game the first letter will start in the next letter that was spell out born dice so the first yeah. game is going to start with a b and then the second game is going to start with an o so you have a little bit of a hint of what game uh we're going to mm -hmm. and then i'll be giving you kind of an overview of like what this game is and all you have to do is type in the name oh. of the game um and um, ultimately it'll spell out board and dice i think we were going to start with this or that mike yeah, yeah not anymore man i'm already set up for this oh, okay then i gotta change a whole bunch of stuff hold on one sorry about that it's okay i, I, I just they, they changed a whole bunch of the warping and stuff you can like preset oh, yeah, up rounds and so i pre-set up oh, all the rounds oh my bad nick see no, no, nick did all this work and i just like just just pull <laughs> ran over that so rogue. i love it baby i love it my bad my bad no, no you're good, you're good. <laughs> it's very easy to do they uh, yes. they are quite good at switching all this stuff around okay so indeed so we're going to do this. We're just like waiting for people to pop up in here but this is the cool thing so once you join in like we have four rounds of trivia uh, we're going to start off with this one called Board and Dice, and then we're going to jump into a picture round that's going to be showing you um, – what are they? What are those called, Nick? The sprues, you know? Like once they're, you punch out the punch boards. Out board. I don't know. They're punch boards, I guess. So what they're we're going to do is we're going to show yeah, you. We had, the same thing. Yeah, similar thing. So we have uh, – we had people send us pictures of – once you punch out a game, those leftover – little board bits um <clears throat> we have those without any of the stuff from the middles so it's the the question of like can i recognize a game by the 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 negative of all of the cardboard elements essentially so yeah and some uh, are real hard <laughs> oh I and that was given to us by twin flower who was actually in yes. chat with some help from defub and duchess yes so um shout i haven't all looked at those i haven't seen these yet yeah, so and i don't know the answers so i'm gonna try to guess along with you because i'm really curious because i I feel like I'm like, I'd be able to nail this, but again, it takes some, a bit of context. Yeah, some <laughs> Sass Queen I said, I'm here. I'm here. Everyone calm down. I'm here. Everything's fine. Sass Queen is here, everybody. Sass Queen's here. Yeah, Probably. so this is completely free. You can play on a phone. It works very well on yes. a phone. You can play on the desktop on a um, it'll like automatically another... do stuff for whatever device yep. you're on. It's super, super cool. It's a really, really cool system that crowd we use a, a thing called Crowdper. Um, and it's really, really cool. It works yeah. really well. And awesome. you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff and put in pictures and video. It's And they keep updating. It's very, very cool. It's been a little while since we've done one of these. I know. Um, and we decided we're going to do uh, – we're doing uh, Tabletop Live Network, which is a, a network of streamers that we're a part of. Uh, the next one is going to be on April 24th is the next Tabletop Live Network. And two we're going to do another – today. It is two weeks from today. You're right. And we're going to do another quiz show on that day. So if you like what you're seeing here, make sure to show up for that because they're very, very fun to do. Do it, you butts. Do be it, out butts. there. Be about it. Um, so let's uh, let's do this thing. So like I said, we're going to play around uh, Board and Dice, which is going to be uh, giving you kind of overviews of games, and it will ultimately spell out Board and Dice. And so we'll let you know what letter the game is going to start with. Uh, then we're going to do a, a component round with those punch boards then we're gonna do a round called this or that where for the most part we uh have a comparison between two things you have to choose which one is correct so it's always kind of a 50 50 shot there's a couple in those rounds that have more than two options but for the most part it's a, a, a binary option it's either this or it's that yeah. and then finally we're going to do a uh, a round called random stuff on amazon where nick is going to uh basically give you uh, a board and dice game yep and it has a certain price on Amazon as it yep. stands uh, this morning, right? Or uh, as, as yeah. the time of writing this this quiz. Yeah. And then Nick will then provide you a, a random item that is also for sale on Amazon. And you have to tell us, is this random item more expensive or less expensive than the board? And, and I'll tell you, sometimes it's real weird. Things are way more expensive than you think or way, le way less expensive than you think. So it's, it's, it's all over the place. So like we said, for this quiz, join in anytime. Yeah, um, you, you can, can come in at any time. later round. Yeah. Yeah, and you can pop back in. And once we're in this, like, like Nick mentioned, we're going to warp you from round to round, but you won't have to do anything on your end. We will be able to 
just shift you over uh, once you're on the ride. You don't have to get off. We'll just keep taking you from place to place. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, a little, you're rating from thing to thing, kind of like Twitch. Kind of rating yeah. from thing to thing, just like But Twitch please feel does. free. So you go to crowd.live slash 5BM69. Uh, and again, the link has popped up a couple times. And feel free to join in. It's really fun. It's free. And yeah, it's a good time. It's free and fun for everyone. All right. Free let's uh, let's start this, yeah? Let's do it, man. I think. All right. I'm going to start a yeah. little countdown thing. Boom. Okay. So trivia starting in six, five, four, three. Okay. So hopefully so, everyone should see that on your phones or wherever you're playing this. It should be counting down. All right. I'm just going to double check that we need to. Okay. Perfect. So the way this is going to work is you're going to start to see questions like this and we'll read this out, but we're going to have a, um, a, a start button. So you won't be able to type in anything right now. If you were to try to type, yes. stuff, you're not gonna be able to do anything until we hit a, a start button. Uh, and then you'll see a little the timer start to count down, and then you'll have forty five seconds to type in. Actually, uh, well, this is a typing. We'll make this one a minute. My head just realized. That okay, cool. This Appreciate is a that. typing one. That's right. Yeah. So we have Sorry. a minute to type in your answer and stuff. We try to give it a bit of time to to give you time to think and just deal with any latency issues and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. again, what we're going to do is we're going to read the question, start the timer, then you'll have as much time as you want to type in your, or rather, you have a minute. You'll have plenty of time to type in your your answer. One thing about this game with the type in answers, and especially with the multiple choice answers, if you touch anything, if you click anything, click submit, there is no undo. It's done. So do be careful. Make sure you're like, I got this. Now, with this one, it's the type in answer. We will account for typos and stuff. You don't have to be word perfect. But the rule that we always yes. subscribe to is like, if we can't guess what you're trying to say, we can't make it correct, right? But we if we can like, help, oh, that's yeah. a, a typo, we're not, we're not looking for spelling uh, perfection in spelling uh, or anything like that, okay? So don't you worry about that. Yeah, and also please don't put any profanity into that. We have an auto thing on that will automatically catch profanity yeah. and stuff like that, so it won't show up. So read you know, the room, as it no were. No need for that or anything like that. All also, right. also, if you don't know the answer, put something real silly and funny. If it's funny enough, we've been known to give it a right answer anyway. So Just saying. So, uh, like I said, this is this round is called Board and Dice. So every game, there's 10 questions. Every game will start in the next letter that ultimately spells out Board and Dice. So I'm going to tell you right now, this game that I'm about to describe to you starts with a B. Then the next one will start with an O. So this starts with a B. So this B game, uh, in this tile lane game by Phil Walker Harding, praise B, uh, players are building a zoo featuring koalas, gobies, pandas, and polars. What is the name of that game starting with a B, Don't of course? Add. For board and dice. Oh. Indeed. Whoa. Whoa. People Someone was a quick. Someone was very fast. Okay. All right. I see what you've done here. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick and I can both see answers that are coming in and yes. make corrections. So we can see them and they make us so We're looking down here. We're, we're, uh... Yeah, so I'm looking over here. It's because I have the quiz here. This is where you are. This is the quiz are. So it's you, quiz, you, quiz. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so time is counting it down. Undoing. It's a very good game. It's a very good game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's best. a great game. It's a great game. Prop, 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 prop. Mm. Is your, your favorite? favorite? Mm, I have to probably, maybe, I don't know. possibly, yeah. probably. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty darn just, good. It's pretty saying. darn good. <laughs> also, if you know us or our game taste, you'll probably help because we mostly pick games that we know and we like. And so that you know, is a advantage. clue. It's a good clue. All right, Mikey, show what people said. Okay. Uh, 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 let me get my, hold on. Where are you? There we go. Uh, we have, uh, oh, show. Hey, there we go. So we have people out here saying that's Baron Park and then also B Zoo Game, which so is that is not, Zoo for Bs. It's not incorrect. But it's not, not wrong. The answer we're looking for. What we were looking for, indeed, was uh, uh, hello. Show the correct name. Baron Park. Baron Park, oh. indeed. Baron Park was that. So now we're going into the O of board and dice. So this next game is to start with an O. And the question or the clue is: In this bag building game, you collect a bag of followers that you place onto action spaces to do many super French things. Super French. Things. And that? I will say also when you do, please don't put the answer in chat either. Oh yeah. This. Type it um, in. Please don't put the answer in chat uh, just because it, you know. Not that you even know what we're doing. That. Not yeah. that you could even predict. Not that anyone has any you idea. You would know. You would never be able to guess that. It's not like everyone's got the answer correct because someone I could have done oceans. Oceans is about French manatees yes. doing French stuff in the ocean in the Eating baguettes. Mediterranean Sea. Yes. Obviously. 
Yeah. So um, jokes on you. You like so the food? Jokes on you. <laughs> Atticus did time before it came out. That was very true. <laughs> t- t- guessing your game taste. Well, here's the thing. You can feel uh, quite good uh, knowing that you're correct. So yeah, there's only so many games to start with. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, but you salty. can't guess a, you probably can, but there's two ways. So for the, and we're going to do just an a game. We're not going to spell out. And cause it's an ampersand in the logo. Uh, and I, I didn't, see. I couldn't find a game that starts with that. So I see, I see, uh, you know, you know, you know, yeah, all right. Now. We got people out here saying that's Orleans or Uber French. Both are correct. Like Uber French, where you deliver uh, fine cheeses uh, from That's house right. to house uh, via an app. Uh, the correct answer via was indeed app. Orleans. Atticus knows oh, all. It's Obsession. See? Could have been Obsession. I know those games. Uh, next, so what do we got? Uh, a. So in this game by Bruno Catala, you take politics deep, deep down in the ocean where pearls are money and kelp farmers are the backbone of this aquatic nation. That's true. Mmm, cheese. You should have done et cetera for and I was gonna say, is there any game that starts with an ampersand? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that could have worked pretty good though. That could have worked. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Bruno Catala, A game. It's a great game. It is. We talked about that this game this week. <laughs> Saskia said, also, I'm so excited. I know some games. <laughs> That's thing, this this making these quizzes, it's very, it's very easy to make it way too hard like it's, right. it's incredibly easy to make it way too hard <laughs> i imagine in general like quiz masters people that make quiz quizzes of any description it's hard because like if you're making stuff based off of things you know you assume you're like oh this is easy oh, like, everyone yeah, knows I, this. I know this I know that's, this. that's, that's yeah. why i wrote the question and you're like well yeah but you know not everyone does so just not checking out some does. things let's see what we got here we have people saying it's abyss aquatica a bruno catala game but a Bruno Catali game. And it's that, again, not incorrect. Not uh, incorrect. Ah. I like that. Uh, we should know, we should this. know the this. The correct answer was Abyss. You should have known that. Abyss. Yeah. Live now on One BGA. You play on Board Game Arena. How, how so good. good. Oh, Abyss is so good. All right. So B O A R is the next one I can spell, folks. Uh, Boom. <laughs> in this Just woodland playing. game of might and right, you play as murderous cats, birds, mice, and a lone raccoon as you battle for control of the forest. This is an R game. There is a proper spelling of this <laughs> that everyone should be putting. So far, Nick, I've seen everyone has put this spelling. I think it auto wow. puts them in there. So I don't know. <laughs> it 100% does. 100% does. I'm just uh, setting it up for the joke. But, yeah, no, uh, I love it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, this Woodland Game of Might and Right. Woodland Game of Might and oh, Right. It's, a good, it's good, a good tagline. I'm not going to lie. It is good. It's really good. So this is the R of. <laughs> I like that. We will uh, show that off. Uh, um, uh, I hope everyone is having a good Saturday. Here I know. At, uh, Board and Dice Con. Super awesome. Again, thanks for having us. Anyone watch the first show? I mean, we're just underway with this convention. Anyone watch the first show? We were catching the very end of it there and had a panel of fine folks there all yeah. chit chatting and whatnot. What now and what not? All right, we have uh, ran out of time. Let's see what people put. A lot of people out here putting right, right. what Mike makes right and rooting for you, which I will uh, allow. So the correct answer we'll allow is that one. We'll right allow that one or root, root, uh, but root right. is just more fun to say. So we we made that the it default. Is. But if you type root, it would make it root because that's hilarious. Indeed, you can put multiple <laughs> correct answers in there and and. Yeah, or whatever the first one is, it changes it to that. In. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so very good. So B O A R D. This is a D game. There's a granddaddy of all deck building games. Here, you hope to collect the most estates, duchies, 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 duchies. Duches? Who knows how to spell it? Duches. And provinces. Duché. A duché. It's a duché. Hard to find duché. You know. What is this game? What could this game be? Who knows, dude? Who knows? Impossible. No, no, one no one's going to get this one right. No one's mm. ever heard of it. Ba, ba, ba. Oh. And again, feel free to join in. Even if you're here a little bit late, it doesn't matter. You can join in at any time. Um, you can join this round, next round, any round. Any round? You, want. you can show up with the very last question. You probably won't win, but you but know. you might. Luckily, we're just 
plan for fun. Oh, you know what we've been doing this whole time, Nick? What, Decreasing team? points. Ooh, no, we haven't. How did we turn it off? No, I'm seeing this thing go down 23, 22, 20. Oh, 18. okay. So I it's weird. Decreasing points. I had all my on. settings set, man. Oh, maybe it's not then. We'll find Wait. out at the end. Maybe it just does we'll that on out. default. I just noticed. Yeah, because it. Uh, oh, I, right. So we have most people saying uh, Dominion. I had someone type in Domo Onion, which made me laugh. Uh, yeah. But I think they're going for Dominion. And God, I can't remember, but it's such a fun game, too. Uh, it is Dominion. It is. It's Dominion. Kind of, you know, super deck building. And uh, whoever said it, oh, uh, I can't remember, it was such a fun game, too. I don't know if that's true, but it's. Uh, it is game. That's weird. It didn't accept Lilia's answer. Uh, let us know if that keeps happening. I'm, I'm not sure what we can do on our end, but sometimes it gets that. weird. It gets a little weird every once in a while. Every once in a while, very rarely, but what are you gonna do? You know. All right. So this one is the middle. This is the and. So this is gonna be an A game. So in this granddaddy of all huge Uwe Rosenberg games, you must tend your farm, raising animals, and making sure to keep you and your spouse fed. I could use two granddaddies in a row. I know it's fun. Two granddaddy was my word of the night. Can we get some double granddaddies in chat, please? Granddaddy. Thank you, granddaddy. <laughs> That's also, yeah, the correct spot on here. I should have, uh, I should have made that the <laughs> the default. We'll show That's that one. Yeah, That's right. Thank uh, you, thank uh, you. Uh, Sasquatch from Granddaddy. Listen in chat. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> so get these answers in. This is the first of four rounds. Uh, the next one is going to be a picture round. We can call it Visher that. Is, I mean, yeah. Visher is someone you look up to, literally. So it's, you he's know, very he, tall. He should be yeah. the granddaddy of all things he does. He's just very tall. So you're like, well, you must be the first. You know, I assume. Giant yeah. bones. <laughs> giant bones. That Your femur is insane, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. Intro. We had a last second answer pop in. Uh, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have people saying Agricola. We have someone saying Agricola, which is very fun. Is great that correct? And then Indian Summer, correct it's designer, unfortunate. but unfortunately not the correct name. Oh, so we were going for Agricola, the, the, the super farming game to make all the farming games. There were no farming games Ooh. before Agricola. Fact. Probably not true. Boom. But not one. I said it. Hi, Steve. Said morning, oh, all back Steve. for thirty mile bike ride. Thirty miles. 30, this morning, oh, I read. It's I read thirty minutes, which seemed like yeah, then thirty miles. Where did you go? When did you start? Not Where that did Steve, you go? Steve has done many. Uh, Steve is a fit, gentle person. Yes, uh, and you have Steve. done many long bike rides. So this is like hardly. How a, many? How many laps back and forth the Earth Cafe is that, Steve? At least ten. At least ten, right? At least ten. So many. That's a that's an uh, LA specific part of LA joke right there. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, a. So we have a D now. We're going into dice. Okay, so next in this game, you will take on the role of a famous class of animals as you try to adapt to survive an impending ice age. I played this game way too early on when I started playing modern right. board game. This was like the second modern board game I played. I would not suggest it as your second game. Oh, it's fine. I don't know. I played, I think, Love Letter, Suburbia, and then this. So you ran the gamut there. In one night, you went from very light, pretty medium, to not yeah. so medium. <laughs> That's, That's yeah, intense. It was, it was pretty intense. It was a bit too intense. I did, I did not to like Manhattan it. Beach and back. Oof. That's a Oof. trek right there, Stevie. So, how do you, when you're like, planning out like a ride like or maybe you weren't i don't know maybe you're just riding to ride if you're planning out a ride like that do do you like do research ahead of time so you know where you're gonna go do you just like pull it up on your do you have it on your phone on your bike so you can like because you know you can like get direction to place and choose biking as an option how do you know where to go and know hopefully where there's going to be like bike paths again you ride well the, i remember you work down kind of not that no, obviously not all the way down there but in that direction so i wonder if you know your way around. I'm just so curious. Okay, let's see what we have here for answers. We have, uh, 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 boom. We have people saying dominant species. We have uh, last one out of the, out of the I think Jurassic. it's Jurassic, and it that is the hilarious. ASS part of that, it it decided to mod out of there. The mod, the mod things are always funny because they are they're, they're really aggressive, they're really good, but they don't 
they're not intelligent devices. They just see a certain thing, even if it's within a word, it's like this they is saw bad. Jurassic, like, and they were like, "Ooh!" They made a they made a prediction about what was happening here. Uh, Die in the Ice Age, Stone Age, uh, Winter Edition. We are going for uh, dominant species because in that one, you're all trying to. There's this Ice Age coming, so you're trying to adapt and stuff and change prior to that event. That's true. Um, okay, so D I. This is gonna be an I game. It's not a Almost ton of this I game. Not a bajillion anyway. Not a billion of them. Uh, this card drafting area Ooh. control game is deeply steeped in Celtic tradition and lore, where you try to be named king of this island. And honestly, I still don't know how to pronounce it, despite it not being a complicated looking word. That is true. That is a good clue too. I'm just like I've heard it different ways, but I'm like, but, but then I don't know. Who knows, right? And again, feel free, everyone, if you are just joining us here, please feel free to join the game. You can join in, excuse me, at any time. So Steve says just pick a destination and Google Maps it, baby. I guess they yeah, have. Why not, right? Just yeah. bike around. It is, it is, it's so cool about like technology in that way where, you know, if you're trying to do things, you can select walking, bike riding, uh, taking a bus or train, yeah. driving. It's, it's just like, man, we live in the future. It's very cool. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. Big Stevie. All right. Pulling a quick 30 miles. Hardly broke a sweat. Early morning. Not too Rainers got like Manhattan Beach. Easy. Easy. Now that's impressive. Here's the thing. Getting to Manhattan Beach will be easy because you just get to ride down the Rocky Mountains. Going back home. You're going to have enough momentum to get there. For oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna. Easy. You're not. You're not gonna have to pedal the entire way to LA. It's just yeah. getting back. You'll. Ne- you'll just need to move. You'll just need to stay yeah. here. Like, well, we're trying here. to get. We're trying to get ready to move to LA for a while. I don't now. bike ride <laughs> uphill. I only do downhill parts. Okay. That's true. Um, okay, we have people out here saying Inish. Inish. I've heard Inish, Inish a lot. Inish. And I don't quite Be get nice. it. Nice. Like, give me the H then, if there's an H. Inish. Alice Sky. I don't know this. Iconoclast in <laughs> Ireland. It was in this. Ireland. So, okay. Out there in chat. Put it with you. Put it. If you say inish, put it with an H. If you don't, you say inis. You write it out phonetically. Yeah. I don't know. But I, I, I feel like I should know I being of, inish, but I know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, okay. So D I C. France gets dicey in the Steffenfeld game as players work to build out their Princeton with settlement tiles. Settlements. I was proud of that. France gets dicey. I was proud of that. It's a shout out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, fr- I'm proud of that. You should be proud of that, Mike. You should be proud of that. Well, I'm pretty proud of that. France gets dicey. Um. All right. This dicey. is. Oh, uh, so we got one more after this one, and that's gonna be the end of this round. And we will show the ranking in terms of how who's in first, second, third, of all course. that kind of stuff. So uh, it's uh, pretty cool because we can show all that, which is rad. And then we'll move on to the punch board round, uh, which is going to be um, – punch out, which is fun. It's going to be like fun. That. It's going to be fun. Uh, Steve says the beach bike route has a number of turnaround points depending on how far I want to ride. I'm trying to think. Do you That's go nice. – oh, it's so funny. Like I'm, I've lived in L.A. for so long, but now I don't drive around in that area much – do you go – what are the streets? Oh, I'm trying to think. So there's like the area. It's kind of like there's like wetlands and stuff. It doesn't matter. It's a pole, but other things. Davis, California. Yeah. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Just checking. So <laughs> <laughs> we have one great uh, – correct answer. One great answer. Could, could, be, could anything. be anything. That's very true. <laughs> You've named right? so many games. That's why I tried <laughs> to specify with the designer because I was like, this that does sound like a lot of stuff. You're just saying a bunch of generic words. Uh, we have Castles of Burgundy, Chois, Core, Chois. Kingdom, Fields, Notre Dame, and could be anything. Uh, most of those are correct. But we are looking for Castles of Burgundy, the Castles of Burgundy. So D I C E. Okay, this last, last one, one of the round. This is going to be an E game. In this game, you work to adapt a species the best uh, to ensure you can sustain large populations by eating the most food. And then hashtag long neck and forging or mega OP. Go for those every time. Okay. Crazy Lucky OP. Mega OP. <laughs> yeah, you put those two, those two things together. It's insane. Impossible. Foraging OP. OP, been saying it. <laughs> Everybody knows it. Don't, Everybody you dare become, knows don't, it. Don't, don't, don't you dare become a carnivore. Just forage all that. <laughs> yeah, really Ridiculous. though. It's ridiculous. Um, all righty. Yeah. 
All righty. So get these in again. Feel free to join us at any time, everybody. Anytime, anytime. It's free and fun for everyone. Everyone. Um, yeah, so we're going to be going to uh, uh, punch out in the next round, which will be our picture round submitted by uh, by Twin Flower Twin with Flower. Uh, Duchess and Deep Boob's help. Appreciate y'all on that one. Uh, this is something we always try to incorporate is stuff that people put together. We've had so many insanely clever rounds from people, yeah. and that's what's really fun about doing these um, is is just to see what people come up with. <laughs> um so uh, come on down. Like I said, we're going to be playing this in two weeks during our Tabletop Live Network event. It's going to be super duper fun. We're going to hope to get a bunch of people in there playing a quiz mm-hmm. all at the same time. Um, okay, we have people here saying evolution and E, E, uh, E, uh, shoot. shoot. Uh, e, uh, E. It was evolution. Which I feel like we should give them that because they're not wrong. We should. Evolution is correct, Mikey. Evolution. All right. Evolution so, win the win. Let's see how we did that round, everybody. So we're going to show the, the rankings leaderboard as it stands after one round. And it looks like we had a couple people. Oh, oh, few oh people. Well, five oh, people. Five people. Five perfect scores. Five people with a perfect Ooh. 10 for 10. So we have Shrey, Rexus, Gambit. We got Kent. We've got Inertia. We have people on nine. A lot of people on nine and sevens. Wowzers. Everybody. So that's just one round. Every question's worth 100 points because it feels good to get a ton of points. It's just like feels exciting. Uh, so very well done, everybody. We are going to go to the next round. We'll have Nick kind of run this because Nick kind of knows what's going on. I'm going to try my best to not look at answers and just uh, see if I can help guess. So so I'm going to have Nick kind of run this round. Yeah. You want to warp us over, Nick? We'll, we'll warp over. See if this works. Seatbelts on, everybody. Done. This warped. I, just, I, I was not ready. I feel car sick. Hey, look at that. I was about to so, warp. Punch Out. So again, this is a game uh, submitted to us by Punch Twin Flower. Thank you again, Twin Flower, with help from DFoob and Duchess. Thank you all so, so much. You should have warped over. If you didn't, you can follow the link in the bottom. It should have warped everyone, but it looks like it might have missed somebody, uh, some people here. So you can go to crowd.live slash G-Z-Y-G-W, or you can go to the same other one. It'll warp you to this one as well. So um, please feel free to join us for this one. But nonetheless, this is a game where we're going to be showing you pictures of punched out punch boards. This is little punch boards, which no matter how many games they get, I still love punching out games. But this is just the skeleton. This is just the remains. And you have to try and figure out what game it is based off the punch board. Some are easier. Some are really hard. (laughs) So Uh, so that's um, why you lost a finger in that warp. It's because you were were talking to Hornist. You should have been focused on the warp. You need to be faced forward for that. If you turn to the left... Keep your hands inside the vehicle. For you, know? you gotta keep you your know? hands inside the vehicle. <laughs> um, okay. So okay. this first one here, so you can yeah. see that is the the carcass of a punch board right there. <laughs> and so you gotta Just tell us remains. right down in there what game is this from? It's a polyominal tile game, I can tell you that much. This one I was able to guess. Because it's got a lot of really familiar shapes. Now, one thing I realized is that nothing is repeated. No shape is repeated. No shape is repeated. That's true. And so no it's like, repeated. okay, games that have uh, a thing. I will tell you this. I'm going to give you a hint straight through. We have some people pop in. It's a Haba game. Whoa, already with the, the hints. Yeah. Got it. It's a Haba game. Because I was thinking, I saw a couple things here, and I was thinking those first, and I kind of looked deeper, and I'm like, well, it's these. The, the thing a lot of is the rounded edges on the thing. I was like, that's odd. I don't know yeah. why. That, that, One that thing is, like, so much of it is like, you're looking at the colors around it and trying to find the art from there. It, there are – some that are easier, but these are a lot of components when they're taken completely out of context of the game. They're much harder to guess than you would think. Right. <laughs> so – all right, so, um, how, da, da, da. well, I feel pretty good because uh, I was able to guess. Okay, it, right? so we got a lot of people saying my city, Baron yeah. Park, Patchwork, Baron Park was my first thought. Tetris the board game question mark Project L. The actual answer is Fiverr Finding, which Fiverr. nobody guessed. A Fiverr Finding, that's a, a tough couple, one. A couple also, not as much art to help but mike gave a good clue of haba and the fact there's none repeated. this is a little roll and write game by haba it's really really fun but that is fiber find in so it's a little kind of a, a shape finding game really it's 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 Trace it's, 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 played this game see yeah this one that one was tough that one was tough the next one we haven't is, played with this punch board you know that's the difference that's the thing right all right okay next one up is this one this one's also tough 
This is all just, okay, so these must be coins or something. Everything on the little bleed, see, you know what? So I will say, this one, point. I know this game quite well, and I'm not entirely sure what pieces these are. <laughs> I'm this gonna, game. Oh, okay. I'm thinking these are like coins from Clank or something, but I have no idea. If that makes me think, and this like, one's from Deep Poop. Uh, this one is tough. This one is tough. It's just a whole mess of like one thing. This has to be money. This has to be money. I'm thinking it's uh, that's my guess, guess too. Again, I'm not entirely sure oh. what. Oh yeah. Okay. It is money. I'll tell you that it is money. <laughs> yeah, it is money. Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. I thought that's why oh, I'm not sure. If you can see it's a slight, but there are slight irregularities there in the punch, which does. Yes. They're not perfectly cir circular. Oh, that's hard. I could get money, but that's all I got. It was not clink. <laughs> that one is tough. That one is tough. That one is probably in my it's opinion, the hardest round. one in terms of just n having nothing to go off of. That one is uh, to me, probably the hardest. This is the brutal. So, um, we got Mike is the best, bro. I agree. Subscribe Thank to the Brothers Murph Twitch channel. Bless. Also do that, please. For me, but only for me. Dirt Collector. We got Spartacus Game Blood and Sand. Sand Wars got Brass Lancashire. Get it, it, the Automod decided to take out Brass. That is so funny. It's so funny. Punchy make punchers in. Great. Great. So this was indeed Arcus West Kingdom. This is the money. They are not perfectly spherical. I know. And for, it took me a while to be. I was like, what is this? And I know this game very well. That one was tough. I will say That's that one is brutal one. quite That's tough. One. D was like, right. Wah, ha, ha, ha. yeah, D was like, cry. get wrecked. So this one is also from D Oh, so this one, if you know the game, I know that that one weird spirey shape thing. That is a space needle from Las Vegas. Uh, space needle from Okay, so some people are getting this one. So we're getting some points on the board. Yeah. Again, punch boards are tough. You think you know, and they're they're space. They're harder than you think. Spacey Space. for sure. Spacey for sure. And I did get this correct. And please don't put the answer in chat if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, type it in the quiz. Join us. But now it's in chat if you want to if you want to put it in the answer. Type it in. It's in there. We won't tell you which. But, but yes, yeah, so if, you, if you don't mind, please don't put the answers in chat. Randy um, says, I know this one. Woo, feeling clever. You should feel clever. You're clever. Feeling clever. clever yeah, this one is this one. The first two were very difficult. <laughs> I think it's funny is that Spire kind of clued me in that that wild little point. Mm -hmm. one, but then I'm like, I don't remember what it does in the game. Oh, I either. remember that that thing, that shaped thing. Do you feel even going the extra mile by blacking out the name that's clear? Yeah, I know. Crushing. Not, not giving us an easy one. Okay. So a lot of people are saying Cosmic Encounter. Okay. Which was in the chat. Uh, we got Bonfire, TI4, Istanbul, and Space. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> Circles, People Circus. Why is my brain forgetting every game I've ever played right now? That happens. It, it does, happens. It does it. NASA the game. answer is indeed Cosmic Encounter. Yes. Very spacey. It's not that big space needle. It's based in Seattle. We all know this, you know? It's about um, uh, coffee empires. About exactly. Empires. Exactly. All right. Uh, the next one here. I'll say this one makes something quite large indeed why there's a little bit of evidence with the 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 color you know the bleed yeah. this is good this is a good one it's fun to like go back and see some of these things because like we own this game but we punched it out obviously a very long time ago so like yeah right cool oh, this is what the punch board looked like yeah. I, don't, I obviously don't hold on to memories of what punch boards look like very right much. So it's kind of like oh ah and this one is from Twin Flower, by the way. Just Twin Flower, on. thank you Make for sure submitting shouting this out. We're giving all the pictures. Yeah, so get those answers in for this one. Deep should, should get this one. Yeah, I think so. Uh oh, <laughs> this is not space. <laughs> not space. <laughs> I have no idea or joke. <laughs> that's a good oh, answer. Oh, that's like oh, we have a we have one of those. This is a toughie. We have an answer that's correct, but not correct. The not it's correct. true, but not right. Most people are saying Everdell, which is correct. We and also have, with I tree. have no idea or jokes. No, the tree, you are correct. It is a big old is tree. A big old the tree. answer is Everdell, indeed. Big old tree, you know. All right. Next up. What punch-out board is this game, was this from? 
Which game is this punch out board from? That's what I'm trying to say. This thing has a bajillion pieces. Okay, so they've got double hexes. Single the double the, the yellow ones on the bottom are kind of the giveaway for me. The rest is kind of just generic. I know, that looks familiar, but I'm like, ah. Uh... It does. Uh, the people who keep the punch boards and Twitter, I said only for the picture. Take a picture of it and then and ditch move it. it on. But it's a very okay. cool round. That I never would have thought of double hexes, single hexes, also circles, also big circles, and those circles have some color. And this was also from Defu, but Defu doesn't remember. Hilarious. Oh my gosh. This one's tough. This one's this one's a little tough. The double hex in the bottom, the ones the thing they give oh. it away from me. Oh. The scale here for me, I was thinking these are much bigger than they are. These pieces are small. That's that is one thing is it gets it gets a little tough with that where it's like it can be the scale can be because they all look the same on a punch board, right? That's it's wild. like it, yeah. Okay. So I would not have guessed. So that. We were saying Honey Buzz, God Love Dinosaurs, Fantastic Honey Factories, No Idea, Closer Picks, please. Yeah, we could. We, these, I wonder. I guess I probably could have cut this out and just put one of them on there. Um. Was it many, many holes? You're not wrong about that. So no <laughs> idea. Honey Buzz? The correct answer was Fantastic Factories. Was I was thinking person. Honey Buzz up until they had the circles. And I was just like, well, I don't know. I guess, it. yeah, the double hexes are kind of Honey Buzz as well. This is Fantastic Factories. They're much smaller, as Mikey was sure. saying. Yeah. It's a, a tough round. It's a tough it's round. But they were giant. You can't make them all too easy. The first round was, was more easy than this one. This one's a easy little Easy way like it. Bring down the hammer. Okay. Okay. So this one is from a game that I believe this one's from Twin Flower. Yeah, so this is from Twin Flower. This is a game I have not played, so I would not be able to get this one. Okay, well, there's some, there's like a good amount. It looks like water and sky, mm -hmm. and it kind of gets darker. So I wonder if there's something with water, like going down in the ocean or something. Right, Jess. Oh, Mike. You're not wrong, Mike. I'll, oh. say, I'll put it out there. You're not wrong. There's water. We own this game and haven't played it yet. The title. I punched out this game, but don't remember this. Water is in the title. Go me. Okay, Indeed. now I know what these are. I don't know what the, the bottom part, I don't know what those are still. Money? Yeah, I never played this game, so I'm not entirely sure. Money? I know, we keep meaning to. We really need to. Yeah. It'd be really fun. Water-tastic factories. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's basically the same game, identical in every way. Alrighty. All right, so we got Forgotten Waters, Ecos, Heckin' Hexes, Seastead, <laughs> Ocean Crisis, Abed Empire, Matt Tiles for sure. Yeah. Trevor Mars, Underwater Cities, Bora Bora. Uh, I'm not sure what the blocked out one is, <laughs> but um, Water, the board game. Um, the correct answer was Forgotten wa Forgotten Waters. Yeah, indeed. Different, like map tiles, you kind of flip them over and stuff, and then yeah. you go for like weather or something. On I haven't map. played that one, so I was just in the dark because everyone else was like, oh, I don't know what this one is. Most of these I, I knew off the bat, but um, all right, all righty. Okay, so this one, I would say the the shapes of the bottom right, the kind of the one with the black. Yes, that's the one that has. If you've played this game, those are pretty specifically shaped pieces, and there's a lot of them. There's, yeah, this is good. Okay, there, there is, just take your time. Think about it. Yeah, this is one that took a second. I'm like, I see now. This is nicely mm -hmm. well laid out, too, with the black, black, white, white, the checker style. This is very nice. This is yeah. a, an appealing picture. Um, is, I will say it's a co-op game. If that this is a co-op game. Good game. Um... It's co-op kind of pick up and deliver, but those those little black things you are you are collecting them, and then spending them in places. So, so this round is brutal. Yeah, this round is rough. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, this round's tough. This round's really tough. Again, because we don't. It's I, I always like looking at these because they always end up, end up kind of cool looking, um, but it's not something that we generally keep and think about. So it's it's kind yeah. of it's it's fun to kind of fill in the blank be like what would be in that shape and then kind of work that way but it's it's tough when you only have the negative you know You're like, ah. yeah it's it is tough it is tough so a few people saying horrified rococo potatoes potatoes trash pandas this round is brutal nope <laughs> Hi, Mom. the correct answer is horrified so these are the what are they called i don't know the items or whatever the things you pick up are on the board uh, but yeah, that's, yeah. they're kind of a specific shape um but it's it's a little tough Okay, so we got uh, three more of these, and then we'll move on to the next round. Then your pain will be over. It's going to be okay. Okay, so this one is – this is a lot of polyominal tiles, okay. like a whole bunch of them. 
tons. I would say bottom right, that very much not yes. small <laughs> polyomino is your clue. <laughs> yes. And the rest is just just tons of shapes. Just tons of polyomino tiles. Tons of um, tiles. Say, Brothers Murphy, you guys should try to break your record of playing all your games in one week. Let's do this. So we'd need 204 games in a week. That would be a lot. <sighs> That was a tough okay. challenge. It'll probably be a little bit before we try that one again, but I'm sure well, we'll try. The thing to break about it. it is, if we break it, you can't break it by like one. I nah. mean, you can because that's still an impressive. Yeah, you gotta go by like you gotta, twenty. You gotta, yeah, you got to blow it. You just got to blow yeah, right past blow it out of the water, and it was very difficult to do. <laughs> I think we could do that. I think we could do it. I think we could do it. Here's yeah. the thing: because we we really ended we ended that at like six p.m. on Sunday. We technically could have gone to midnight. We could have gotten ten more games in there. You know what I mean? We could have gotten 10 more games in there. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to give it a go. But here's uh -huh. the thing, Nick. I would, I would want to go backward through the alphabet, I think. Try to just do something different. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Put the T's early, but then we'd have to do the C's. Or what we do is put all the games in a big hat, and we just draw them at random. Oh, that's a good way to go about it. <laughs> you don't know so, what you're going to play. Oh. People are saying, I love cats. Tetris, I love cats. I love cats. That's true. That is accurate. The guys are out of their minds. The game that's true. Um, yeah, so this indeed was Isle of Cats. Indeed, Isle of lots cats. of polyols and a big old island in the middle there. Okay. Um, now, what one is this one from? So ah. this is interesting. So this is, I will say, everyone has the exact same tiles, and they're just in four different colors. Right. This so is this is also. If this was made today, this would be a roll and write game. Yes, this was a kind of original roll ride. We'll say by Haba. Great wow. game. You can wow. play this as many people as you want. But yeah, this is one where you all have sort of a racing game of, of a Yeah, sport. you all have the exact same tiles. Indeed. So yeah, you have the kind of brown, red, mm -hmm. gray, and black. So it's just yeah. numbered tiles. You all have the exact same tiles. And so that's why they're just the different colors. That's why they all look so uniform, because they are uniform. <laughs> an answer says such an interesting floor i know right it's very cool um, table i don't know what that is but it's very cool what's up super drew um, what it do Ooh. so we should organize our games where the next game begins with the same letter the last one ended with that would take a lot of organization <laughs> that was that was my original idea for the board and dice round was was doing that i was going to oh, really with letters or words even so um uh i can't even think of one off the top of my head but i wanted to do that but yeah i was thinking of that's exactly what i was thinking of doing and i thought like oh, i can do board and dice so people know like a, a interesting i like that yeah that does that but yeah so i like that idea we will cool that. so what's we're saying karuba castle burgundy squares such an interesting floor this is impossible cries in non-nerd i was defeated by punch boards <laughs> <laughs> karuba was the correct answer all right we got one more this round uh shouts to twin flower i love you know i like uh, having a mix of like Kind of smoother rounds and then just like super hard rounds. And so this is this is great. Okay. So this one is one I would say pay attention to the the coloration of the round pieces around it. It's kind of like looks like a starburst kind of pattern. Those are the point tokens in this. And they have kind of a a, a, a stripy pattern, but this one is also kind of tough. Nick, is this a different version of a of a game that already existed? Yes, it is. This is a this I would say nice version a of a game. Nice version of a game that already exists. Praise be. Praise be. That's all we're giving you. Yeah, I was thinking that already. Those the 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 circular things are the are the uh, the point the, tokens. Yeah. This is um, this is a Phil Walker Harding game. Yeah. It's a dice version of another of his games. <laughs> yeah, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. The, 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 tough. the more rectangular ones, I don't, I don't, I don't know what those are. That's the part that stripped me out. Everything else I get, but I'm like, what are those? Uh, they're the menus and the chopsticks. No, but like just beneath the um, just beneath the coins on that left side, there's like ones that are not square; they're more rectangular. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the heck? Oh, so sushi roll was the three, the level three. Oh points. yeah, you're right. Bam. So sushi roll was the correct. Said uh, said uh, more squares and circles. Nick, I didn't make this round. Uh, yeah, it's it's a tough one. This one was a tough round, but sushi roll was the correct answer. 
So no longer hurting the, the dice game. <laughs> so let's see how do we do. So Kent and Rexus and uh, Dog Tired got five five out of ten for this round. That's pretty darn good. So we're going to do this on a bell curve, so they're going to be the the hundred percent. Everyone else is going to get raised up by comparison. So we'll be all right. Be yeah, all right. not too bad. Okay, so now we can show the rankings for the multi game to see who's in the lead. So Kent and Rexus are tied oh. for fifteen hundred in the lead. So Dog Tired is on fourteen. We got Jabs out here with seven. What's up, Jabs? Jabs. Uh, but, okay, yeah. nice. So we're halfway through this quiz, everybody. Hi, Mikey. We're jump back to a round called This or That. I will warp us over. <gasps> uh, <laughs> go to this round. Beow, did that do that? I think so. Hey, all right, cool. Um, okay, so in this in this round, we're going to generally be providing you two options for things. You're going to tell me, is it this or is it that? Is There will be one correct answer, and they'll all be d- uh, based on different types of things. A lot of them will feature a board and dice game in there uh, to, to celebrate board and dice con. Um, there are a couple that will have more than um, two options. In this one, you don't have to type anything. You're just going to simply select multiple the option. Multiple choice. It's correct. It's multiple yep. choice uh, the rest of the way actually through this quiz. So uh, just know that. But again, if you click it, it's going to automatically submit. So Can't go back. Sure, There's no undo. Make sure you, you feel um, comfy with your choice. And... Um, this is the first question right here, and I'll start the timer in a second. So uh, in Tekenu, uh, there's an obelisk, a 3D object. And in Everdell, there's a tree, a 3D object. So I don't know which of those is taller. Is the obelisk or the Everdell tree taller? Which one's bigger, higher up oh, the table? A minute. Why is this one a minute? Oh, I don't know. Why Get your answers in. Which of these is taller, that obelisk in Tekenu or the Everdell ever tree? <laughs> It's several four or five seconds. It's interesting. Weird. Um, we can do it after this first question. Maybe it'll put the rest yeah, in the Um, But yeah, which one is taller? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> They're both – because the Everdell tree is a lot bigger in terms – because it's very oh, wide. Course, more mass. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's wide. Is it, the, the obelisk is, is interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And again, thank you all for joining us. This is awesome. And thanks, Board and Dice, for having oh. us out. These quizzes are always super fun to do, super fun to think of. It's yes. rad. If you have an idea for a quiz around, you can go ahead and make one. He's saying to this quiz is broken uh, at gmail.com. So if you have an idea for a round, again, we're going to be doing um, another one of these in two weeks over on our channel on for Tabletop Live Network. So if you want, yeah, come on now. You have an idea for a quiz, we're going to do more in the future. So we um, like to have a back catalog of some rounds so that way we can include some follower rounds because they're always really exactly. awesome. Exactly. So we have most people saying that's the Everdell tree, not the obelisk okay. of the Kenu. In fact, that is correct. The Everdell tree right. is, is, is like here. The obelisk is like here. Oh, really? The obelisk is that much shorter, huh? Okay. It's uh, Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, the, uh, there's nothing wrong with the obelisk. The obelisk is, is like a good height, but it's. I thought it was like three feet off the table. Yeah, right. It has to right. Into a box, so it's, it's I not, guess that's a good point, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so next up we have uh, which Escape Tales game is the oldest? Low Memory, The Awakening, or Children of Wormwoods? Very moved. Which one's the oldest? Which is the first of the the uh, Escape Tale games? A hornet's lost a spleen in the last warp, Nick. We should have. We should have. I didn't give enough people time to to settle in and get their little neck brace on and stuff. That's on me. Oh, sorry, sorry, hornet. Luckily, sorry, hornet. Two. You know, I heard people name. You'll be fine. You don't need more than one no spleen. One, no one needs it. Everyone's got three or four. Got a backup in your leg. <laughs> what does a spleen do? Does anyone know? I don't think so. I don't think doctors know. Baffles us. No, no one knows what a spleen does. Because a spleen. What All I know is that? that you don't need it. Names. You definitely don't need two. Definitely don't need five. Definitely don't need other people's spleens. It explains difficult topics to you. <laughs> <laughs> Helps you have those uh, difficult topics. I like that. I like that. That's why I must have a bad spleen then. I can't have explain things to me. <laughs> this is Low Memory, The Awakening, or Children of Wormwoods, the oldest Escape Tales game of these okay. three. Let's see what people said. We had almost everybody, oh. almost everybody said it. It's obviously the Awakening, idiots. Uh, <laughs> the Awakening is correct. It goes Awakening, then Low Memory, then Children of Wormwoods is the newest one. 
That is new as well. Uh, out now, everybody. Uh, Does pain purifies your blood? No. No one knows no what it is. No way. No. Wrong. False. All right. Which game is rated as more complex on Board Game Geek? Teotihuacan, City of Gods, or Zulk in the Mayan Calendar? Which one is rated to be more complex? That's tough because that's all subjective, too. And sometimes the range subjective. on Board Game Geek are kind of like, uh, you know, the weight rating. Is Which one that, so. do, yeah, do people say this is a heavier game? Whatever that yeah. means. It's a more complex game. Teo Tio Connor Zulkin. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I do uh, know. I guess I, I, I Mike does know, yeah. Made the question, but uh, I, I made the question. Don't know otherwise. Which is the harder game according to people? So that's a tough one. Yeah, they're pretty they're pretty equal in terms I will of say this in my are, opinion. They are quite close. Okay. They are quite close, and I thought it would be the opposite of what it was. Really? Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> Again, this is just people's general rating for the folks. And you can you can do this on Board Game Geek on any game. You can rate its complexity. You can yeah. obviously rate it a 10 or a 1, which will affect its overall rating and stuff like that. Um, all sorts of fun things you can do over at Board Game Geek. So let's see. How did this break down? Most people are saying Teotihuacan. Okay. Five um, went for Zulk. And I think people are out here just trying to be loyal to board and dice games. Good they did. Uh, sad to see, but it is also correct. Uh, Teotihuacan is rated as a 3.77 out of 5. And Zulkin is a 3.67. I would put it the other way for me. Personally, me too. Personally. Yeah, personally, but, me too. Yeah, that's I what thought Teotihuacan Pecan pretty easy to learn. Whereas Zulkin, I was kind of like, oh, man, okay, okay. It's just harder yeah. to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, so that is uh, that one. Next up we have, which game has more types of resources? Tuat and Suyu, the Inca Empire, or Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun? Which one has more types of resources? Hmm. Interesting. That's a tough one. It is. Or I can is see it? the answer, so I'm not going to. But yeah, it's. Is it? Sometimes games, yeah, I have like a bunch. Like, man. Yeah. This or that. Both of these games have multiple types of resources. Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, and I'll pull up my little uh, info here so I can. Uh, they both have more than one. We know that. They do. They do. Uh, where is that? Ooh, fun fact said this game had another one earlier in development. Did really? it? Another resource, huh? Ooh. How fancy. This is where I get ever so slightly worried that I have it wrong, but I don't think I do. On your radar tells. So I'm like, well, what do you consider a resource? <laughs> like, oh crap. <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll get your answer here on that in a moment, uh, Rainer. So let's see how this broke down. Ooh. Ooh. Very <laughs> even split. Tawat and Suyu versus Takenu. Slightly more for Tawat and Suyu. Um, you know what I'm going to do before I make this right? Rainer, what do you think is correct? Or what would you consider to be correct? I just want to make sure. Because what I have put is that Takenu has more. Because Takenu, you have... Oh. Uh, you've got... What do you got? You've got... Uh, bread, papyrus, granite, limestone, and gold. And you also have faith, if you want to consider that, uh, resources. Versus Tawat and Suyu has corn, potato, stone, and gold. So four to five or six, really. Tawat and Suyu, more bit. Well, no, we're not going off bits. We're going off different types resources. Types of resources. I'm making mine correct. It's Tekenu Obelisk of the Sun. I have the hosts are always Rainer. right. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> That's right. We spite Rainer. Boom. Spite. Thanks for having us here, Rainer. And it's like you have the army cards and stuff. This again gets tricky, but there's four. It types does get. Five. It does get tricky. Yeah. Or it gets five or six, depending on how you want to look at. It. Okay. Wait. Okay. But Rainer, before we go on this next one, uh, what was what what game had, um, more like was it Tawansi used to have more things, and what was it? If you can speak to Ooh, it, maybe yeah. it's a, maybe it's something you're gonna save for an expansion. Strictly speaking, Tekenu has more. Ha ha. Okay. Aha. Indication. Okay. Which game is ranked higher on Board Game Geek? Trees Majestus, The Ultimate Formula, or Sierra West? So closer to number one. Which one has a higher overall status on Board Game Geek? Trees Majestus or Sierra Vest? Sierra of the Vest. It does definitely win in the bits of wood and stuff because there's just there's people, yeah. there's cards, there's tapestry tiles, there's little potatoes. Oh, yeah. 
and corns and things. There's so much stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. But Takenu wins with more types. Hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? How are we gonna do? So which game is ranked more highly? Sierra West or Trees Majestus? That's the question of the moment. Gloomhaven. Final answer. <laughs> Uh, I would like to lock in Gloomhaven now and forever, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, until Frosthaven comes out, then I'll, I'll switch to that straight away. Um, all right. Oh, Twansu had Coco as a resource. Oh, nice. Makes sense. Twansu has more abstract resources, cards, workers. Yeah, yeah. That's like, and that's where, when I was kind of making that question, I was like, well. What's a resource, right? What do we yeah. consider? Because it is kind of like technically i mean you're using in the similar source but that's why i was like i'm gonna limit it to like actually bits of things you collect like the wooden you know yeah, like right. cardboard stuff um because yeah you could you could get into a uh an argument about that of like well what technically is a resource so uh, okay most people are saying trees majestus is more highly rated uh versus sierra west and folks you are correct trees Ooh. majestus is quite a bit higher uh, in fact, I think it's in 700 something and Sierra West is down in the 2200s, which I just don't understand. Oh. I love that game so much. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. Mihalo Dimitrievsky has done art for Dice Settlers and also Paladins of the West Kingdom. But which game is older? Which game came out first between those two Mihalo Dimitrievsky games? Uh, Dice Settlers being the. Uh, uh, the Miko. Art by the Miko. You know how we do. Which game is older between these two Mihalo art games? Speaking of art, did you see uh, the cover for, I think it's called Unconscious Mind? Mm -mm. It's something where like your followers of Freud and like going into the mind and dreams or something like that, but it's got art by Vincent Dutrait and, and Andrew Bosley. Really? And so I think it's going to be that like the physical world and stuff is going to be like Vincent Dutrait art, but then the dream world's like Andrew Bosley. Oh, so they like, don't have similar styles. So that's yeah, very interesting. So, like, I think that's how it's going to work. And I was like, that is super cool. I'm very excited. That's a cool that. idea. It's a very yeah, cool like, idea. Ever, like that's what you could tell is what like Vincent Dutrait was like this portrait of a person laying on a yeah, yeah. psychiatrist couch thing. Very cool. It's very interesting. Um, all right. People are saying uh, that Dice Settlers is crazy older. So much older. Or at least older. And you're correct. Dice Settlers was in 2018. Paladins of the West Kingdom was in 2019. Just slightly. Oh. So slightly. Yeah, not too, not too much older. Not too much older. Um, okay, which game has a shorter projected game length on Board Game Geek? Yeto or Yeto yeah. Deluxe Master Set? Made by Board and Dice, which was the last the last Deluxe Master Set they did, although I think there's a new one. That got announced, did it not? Was that the first show? I don't want to blow it, so I've been really worried <laughs> about saying so. But which of these two is projected to be shorter. You know, it kind of gives you a, a time range on Board Game Geek. Which one is projected to be shorter? It's the same game. Same exact game. Apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently it's not. Uh, the Beard Gamer says, uh, that cover looks great. Yeah, it's so What's it called? Unconscious Mind? Unconscious Mind, I think, or a Minds or something. Unconscious Minds, something like that. Yeah, I was just like, that's a very cool idea potentially and i don't know like in game if it'll be doing that kind of thing a lot but i love the idea of sort of like this realm versus the mind and having these different distinct art styles Ooh, it's a cool yeah that's really cool looking isn't that neat oh man is it yeah, pronounced that's... yedo or yedo i always said yedo but then i as i talk to rainer i always hear yedo so now i don't know if there's something i know it's that i typically don't always know how to pronounce games but i always try yeah. so i always think yedo phonetically Hi, i guys. think yedo What's up, Bez? How are you doing? How are you? Bez in this house. Okay, so we have 35% of people saying that Yeto or Yido, the original, is of course shorter. Because Deluxe Master Set, it adds a bunch of stuff, gets bloated and whatnot. But most people are saying that's the Deluxe Master Set, which is False. correct. Original Yeto is ranks as like 120 to 180 minutes, and then the new one's 60 to 90, which just seems so much that's more appropriate. So much less, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was so surprised. Like that's such a difference. So I must streamline some things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that is cool. Uh, which game has more dice to Kenu obelisk of the sun or Teotihuacan city of gods, which game has more dice in it. <clears throat> this is quantifiable. This doesn't get into the resource thing. It, it just says how many are in the box. Which game has more dice. Both games does have dice. 
they both got dice. A decent amount of dice, too. Rainer's talking about going back to uh, to Kenu. To Kenu does have like resources. It has so many. Because it has bread, papyrus, uh, limestone, granite, but then you also have gold. There's also scribes mm-hmm. and faith. faith there's, yeah. Oh, there's a bajillion. It's a lot. It's a lot. Woo! Woo! All right, a couple more in this one. This one seems close, yeah? Edo. Okay, I really don't know. I've heard both kind of in equal measure. Don't know. Yido feels like it's right. Right. I don't know why, but just gut feeling with no no information. I'm more than happy to be corrected. If which if game has the right. most dice to Kenu or Teotihuacan, folks? Let's find out. I think I would have gotten this one right if I had just guessed. Was your guess to Kenu? I, I probably would have guessed to Kenu because the dice in Teotihuacan are, are pretty big, so I would assume there's less of them. Uh, well, you're correct. It is Tekenu. And Tekenu, you're actually drafting dice every turn versus in Teotihuacan, your dice are your workers. There's 16 dice versus 26. Uh, so Tekenu has uh, quite a bit more dice in it. Kind of uh, kind of important as you're drawing them all the time. Yeah. Um, okay, which game does not have food as a resource? Ooh. This is four between four options. So does Teotihuacan, City of Gods, Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun, Trees Majestus, the Ultimate Formula, or Sierra West, the Lonely Pioneersman? I felt bad Sierra West didn't have like a colon and after thing, so I'm. I was gonna. I was like, is that is that the whole title? I was gonna <laughs> ask about that. I was be. wondering. I was like, I didn't know that had like a, a colon title. It <laughs> does Lonely now. It will in the reprint. The Lonely Pi- Pioneers. Yeah. I love that. I did not. I was. I was. I was meant to ask you. I was like, I didn't know that thing had like a subtitle. <laughs> Which of these games does not have food as a resource of any kind? There's no food. No nothing edible. Or shouldn't eat it anyway. You do not have an edible. We do have votes all the way around. Who titles their colon? Someone who cares about their health. Yeah. Obviously. You give it a name, then you care about it. You know what I'm they saying? They take care of it. You gotta take care of that. So right. gotta take care of it. <laughs> um, all right. Which game does not have food as a resource? Nick, did you guess this one? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see what we have. We have a couple answers for Teotihuacan, a couple for Tekenu, mostly for Trees Magistus, and one for Sierra West. The correct answer is Trees Magistus. You just move around a bunch of metals and things. You yeah. shouldn't eat those. You probably could a little bit, but don't eat less. Be, if you want to become super strong. Uh, sure. Yeah, if you're, unless you're in the Mistborn series. Uh, Teotihuacan has cocoa. Tekenu has bread. Sierra West has little little chickens, little chicken legs. Yeah, little chicken legs. Yeah. All right, Mandala Stones is available on pre-order on Game Nerds and other places, all right? Trantopia is also available for purchase now on Game Nerds, so I'm basing it off of this website specifically. Which of these games is cheaper, Trantopia or Mandala Stones? Which one's cheaper right now? Tell me the answer. Which one's cheaper? Also, get Mandala Stones. It's great. It's so good. Gosh, it's good. It's, It's just a good time. It's a dang good time. It's just a dang good. It really is. It's so good. Sass queen, colon, the gassiest queen. See, you even made your colon about your colon. Ah. So. Which of these like games that. is cheaper right now on Game Nerds? I guess if you're fast, you could go check this answer. I don't mind. Right? This game's I think my colon name, Bartolo Colon. That's going to be Bartolo. Oh, that's a good one. You know, that's a good one. Gotta. Gotta. Um, let's see. So I also after this round, we'll go, go, go ahead, sorry. There no, you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, af- uh, uh, when I checked this, and this was as of yesterday, and I don't know if it's still the case. These were both on sale. In fact, Game Nerds mm-hmm. was doing a big sale yesterday, so I don't know if it's continuing on. But they were slaying mm-hmm. a bunch of stuff. They're slaying stuff. I found out way too late. Everything was sold out. But they were saying slaying stuff for crazy cheap. <laughs> hey man, so favorite foe on Facebook said Mandala Stones is so oh. pretty. Yeah, it's if you like pretty abstract games, it's, it's really probably my favorite one. Honestly, I it's really, really good. like it. Uh, okay, let's see. What was the, the breakdown on this? We had 59% Whoa. to 41 Traintopia saying Traintopia has got to be cheaper than Mandala Stones. Mandala had nine. Correct answer. 
Boom. They're both the same price. <laughs> I think they both are meant to retail at 40 and they are both on Game Nerds for $27.97. And what a great deal. Get them today, folks. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I hope you don't mind my ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. You know, uh, Mandala Stones is on pre-order and stuff. But yeah, they're both the same price. So, yeah. I, so but I made both correct. correct. So everybody wins. You couldn't Beep. lose that last one. Uh, let's see how we did after after that uh, that Ooh, round. We had nice. uh, Kian Shrey Gambit going perfect straight through. Beard Gamer on nine. We got a bunch of eight sevens and sixes. Wonderfully done. Let's see how we're doing overall now. We have Gambit in the lead. Oh, we got a bunch of ties. With the Beard Gamer and I think I saw a fourth all on twenty two hundred. Beautifully done, everybody. Very nice. Okay, we have one more round that Nick is going to lead us through called Random Stuff on Amazon. Do you want to warp them over or should I? Yeah, I'll go ahead and warp them over. Okay. Nick's going to warp, warp the over. Everyone. Buckle up. We're getting <laughs> can't be held accountable for what you lost just now. I can't be held accountable. Indeed. So let's okay, be random stuff on Amazon. Amazon. Look at this. I'm going to try to okay, answer, cool. honestly. So, um, so basically what this is going to be is I found a board and dice game. This, this one is six, uh, six long, six questions long. I found a board and dice game on Amazon and I'm going to tell you the price of that game. So I'll be like, okay. this game is $19.99. And then I'm going to show you a picture of another product on Amazon. These are all products that are actually on Amazon. Um, and you have to guess whether that product is more or less expensive than the game I just told you. And again, you will know the price of that game. Now it's Amazon. So they're kind of all over the place, take, but nonetheless, I wish you will. Uh, Nick that game is now bald um, after that last warp. Luckily, it's a oh. last round. You lost it's a right. finger. You're bald. I mean, I feel when like I cut my hair. You can have a wig made of my hair. hair. Nick's gonna take care of you. Uh, and Hornus picked up a game, uh, not a B and D game. Shame, shame, shame. That's no, fine. Uh, on shame. sale yesterday. What game did you get? There was some crazy. Like, I think they were. Crook said they were slinging like. Feast Road for like $37 or something insane. What? I'm like, what? Wow. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're going to compare, compare random stuff on Amazon to board and dice games and yep. Amazon be Amazon. And so who knows? Amazon what be doing. Amazon. -in. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start off. So okay. Train Topia is $17.53 on Amazon, which is also insane. <laughs> yeah. $17.53 is 1,000 plastic sporks more. Or less expensive, one thousand. I will say this: plastic sporks from the picture. These are not the highest quality sporks of all time. They're not low quality sporks. They're right in the middle. They're I feel like also these, plastic these, sporks. These could these could bend. They might not have the biggest, you know, the, the strongest necks to them. It's, it comes in a one big box, you know. But it's you like a, it's a thousand, thousand sporks. I'm thinking a thousand sporks has to be more than seven than eighteen dollars. If it's not, I will be ordering this because <laughs> just because you gotta have that many sports. I'm, I'm set for years, I think. Years, right? You never need never need to do uh you never run your run your dishwasher again, you know? Oh man, that'd be intense. So one thousand plastic sporks, is that more or less expensive than Trainsopia? <laughs> All righty. Um Horna said, well, that warp has transferred one of y'all's blood to me, and now I'm over in a point oh eight alcohol. Limit, so <laughs> you know, I you know, it and after it early today. Um, those look like cheap so, sports, don't they? They don't look high quality. They don't. They're not. They're they're not super it's expensive. A I'll thousand give you that. of them. A thousand. So nine people said more expensive. More people said less expensive. They are less expensive. They are fourteen ninety five for a thousand. They, you would have to line up three or four of them and tape them together to get the strength of like one normal. Unit. Probably they're very cheap sports. <laughs> Let's get them. Let's get them right. Uh, um. They should not be on sale at all. Hashtag environment. You're not wrong. Oh, gosh. Should... oh that's what I'm thinking. Like for 14 thousand for 15 yeah. bucks. Wow. Just... That's don't buy these forks. Oh. That's 1.5 cents per spork. <laughs> yep. That's insane. Okay. Escape tales. Low memory is $30 and six cents on Amazon. Right. Is this Mario doormat more or less expensive? Oh, your princess is in another castle. Gosh, man. 21 year old me really wants this so bad. So this is a 60 by 40 centimeter now, I don't know if that matters, but a doormat you put outside your door and it's Mario oh, themed. I'm sure that Nintendo has signed off on this. Um, so is that more or less expensive than Escape Tales Low Memory, which is $30 and six cents? This looks pretty good to me. This looks like pretty nice. Now, I don't know how much doormats go for in general. We bought several. They're not like crazy expensive because they're uh -huh. meant to like literally be stepped on and ruined. So. 
It's true. They do have a sh- they have a short shelf life I because they are less expensive, but it's gonna be close. That's my guess. We need a game that tells the history of the development of the sport. It's a great tool, honestly. They're great tools. <laughs> like they get made fun of, but it's like sports are up. legit great. Yeah. I said, how do you find these comparisons? Honestly, I just I find the games first, and then I just think of a funny word in my head. So I thought doormat, and I just type in doormat, and then I just search until I find something weird. We use the same Amazon. Our suggested <laughs> products is insane. If you go to our, because of this. our homepage, it's crazy in there because it's just like, look at this like flamingo. And you're like, no, I don't want a real yeah. life flamingo, please. But we've searched. Yeah, it. that's exactly correct. So most people are saying more expensive. The vast majority of people are saying most expensive. What do you say, Mikey? I'm going less, but I, I have I was wrong on the first one, and I don't love my chances here. Oh, for two, Mikey. It is more expensive. It is thirty four ninety nine for a doormat. Feels like a lot, but nonetheless, it's a pretty cool doormat. It's a pretty legit one, man. It looks pretty cool. I I I, I changed my mind. So you don't change your mind if you have an initial react. Go for it, right? Don't change it. Don't change it. Okay. Yeah. Next up, Tuan Suyu. Is sixty four seventy nine on Amazon? Is this baseball glove chair more or less expensive? Now I will say this is for children. Oh, it looks humongous in the picture. It looks humongous. I, I will say this is for children and like smaller children. So it is not like we could not sit on this. Oh, I'm very disappointed by that. I wanted to be like, I know, me I too. Care. I really like this. <laughs> I, was, I really thought it was cool. I was like, oh, kids, that's stupid. <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking. Anything related to kids is a racket. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm not, you know, I try board books or just a couple pieces of cardboard. It's a, it's more expensive than like real books. I'm like, this thing is going to yeah. get like slobbered on and destroyed in 10 minutes. Uh, I'm thinking it's more expensive. <laughs> it looks like a dog couch. It does look like a dog couch. It'd be a great platform. dog couch. I think it's like 70 bucks. Okay. Like 30. I don't know. I'm going more expensive. I'm sticking with my gut. Okay. How cute would that be to have Mary Pippin on the glove chair? Yes. I know. Would be very cute. Honestly, that is, that's not a bad idea. If it's less expensive, we'll be getting it for the new studio. <laughs> so pretty even, 12 to 10. More people are saying more expensive. Uh, Shrey says kid stuff right? has to have extra safety checks, and that can drive up the price. The correct answer is more expensive. Not too much more expensive. It is $69.99. So my, he said 70 bucks. You were dead on the money right there. I know my kids, prices, folks. That thing is cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's a little toddler chair. Like, you didn't put that little webbing in to make it like a glove. It's just a hand that eats yeah. children. Come very true. scary. Very scary, very quick. So, all righty. Next up, we have Dice Settlers is $44.95. Are these gold hammer pants more <laughs> or less expensive? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Sweet it's not gold actual leaf. gold leaf. You don't know I'm that. Also, going to go out on a limb saying that after the first time you wear this on the insides of your legs, you will have rubbed off most of the gold. Yes, that's that one is probably true. But for now, these things are shiny. It's a gold hammer pants. Those things are pretty it's gold rad. hammer pants or die settlers. Tough decision. I'm not gonna lie. Tough decision. Look at the fancy shoes that this person's wearing. I know. Face. Look at the the model. Look at the leg model we got going here. Good job, person. Also, the way they crop this, it really looks like there is no upper half to this person. It's just the bottom half of a mannequin in these hammer pants. Yeah. I'm going All right. less. No, nah, yeah, I'm going less. Because okay. I think they're really cheap. Most people are with you. You got uh, 19 people saying less expensive. Three people saying more. They are less expensive. Not They're 32 49 so they're not like super cheap. But they're, you know. Yeah, it's not so bad. They're not horrible, uh, but they're that's also not. out here bad. breaking people in chat. I appreciate yeah, you. No, Keep up the good best. work. <laughs> um, All right, two all right more. we got two more, fam. We got okay. two more. What do we got? So we have Sierra West is twenty nine ninety nine, which is a great deal, by the way. That is insane. Buy it right yeah. now. Yeah. Is this sweet rocker gnome more <laughs> or less expensive? So I will say this rocker gnome is 10 inches tall, and it's made of resin. So just in case, it's not like this okay. big. It's it's you Got know it. it's a good gnome size. Ten inches is pretty good, yeah. I mean, like six of those inches is a hat, but you know, yeah, that gnome is rocking out, and it's kind of like got Gandalf vibes, which I'm into a little bit, right? Gandalf the white vibes. I'm kind of it's like, like after the sword of the ring, Gandalf like tur- turned into like a party animal, you know? Party. He's like, dude, we're safe. Like, I can do whatever I want now. That thing is go. adorable. That's hilarious. <laughs> rocking out, dude, yeah. 
<laughs> so does rocker know more or less? I'm going to go that it's less. I think it's, I think it's pretty affordable. Good little gag gift, you know, get someone for their lawn. Yeah, lawn. right. Okay, thanks. Okay. Less so what'd you say, Mikey? You said more? Uh, less. I'm going less. less. Okay. So more, most people are saying more. Some people are saying less. The correct answer is more. Oh, it is really? thirty four ninety five. Yeah, it's a good. That's it's a right. nice gnome. Saskia wants this one for the studio. I agree. This would also be great in the studio. <laughs> we should get the yeah. <laughs> studio list so far: glove couch and rocker gnome. Yep, we don't need anything else. We don't need lights. <laughs> no, nah. nah, we're good. This on our Kickstarter that we run, it's just going to be like, hey, you can fund this glove chair. You can fund this gnome. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be. It's gonna be awesome. We should. We should. We should make that different things. Like if you want to, you want to go on this level, you're on gnome level. Get like 50 of them. <laughs> be awesome. All right, fam. Last one. Okay. Here. Dig deep, everybody. Uh, Trees Majestus is fifty nine twenty one on Amazon. Is this right. garden hose more or less expensive? So I will say this garden yeah. hose is a hundred feet long. That's pretty good. It's uh, five eight. It's uh, five eighths uh, uh, thick in terms of the width. And this comes with a two-year protection plan. <laughs> Here's the which thing. Which like, adds a little bit of money. Two-year protection plan in that bad boy. It's going to be worth it, though. You know, you get one kink in it. Send it right back straight away. Yeah. 100 foot. It's going to spring a leak on uh, two years and one day into owning it, of course. But it's uh, more than 60 bucks. Two-year protection plan. a 100 plan. foot hose. I, here's the thing. On Supermarket Sweet, people always used to get hoses. That's true. Because it would be a lot of money. I'm going more expensive. This looks like a quality hose. <laughs> Lilia said, said oh, that's the key to this round is think, decide, and then tap the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> is it waterproof? That's a good no. question. Weirdly enough, no. Absolutely falls apart when it's it gets It's made out of fine water. cloth. I forgot to mention that. So, ooh, oh, it's a dead tie. Oh, Look perfect. at that. Ooh. Perfect way to end. It is more expensive. Hoses are expensive. It is seventy two sixty. It just it just moves water around <laughs> and puts out fires. I guess maybe it's important. But how much is it? Seventy two sixty. You're almost paying a buck a foot. It better be high quality. Saskin yeah. says it's just a long and thin. It's a power hose. Water just comes out with so much dang pressure. Just it better. Bam. It better. You see some researchers are on the end to get that extra pressure. I mean, it better. It better blast. I'll be able to be able to power wash this thing. Yeah, I'm paying some yeah exactly. Okay, so that is the end of that round oh. and the end of the game. So we'll go ahead and show the results for this round. Ooh, six hundred. So Ooh. no one. Oh, actually, no. So people got all of them correct. Wow. Right, so that's six. Yeah. Some fives. Crush. Okay. Got a lot of people with four. Okay. A lot of people with four. All right. That's not bad for a crazy round. That just doesn't really make that much sense anyway. Exactly. All right, let's go ahead and see who won this game. We have, ooh, we have a four-way tie oh. with Gambit, Kent, the Beard Gamer, and Shrey. Uh. Four-way tie. Congratulations, my friends. Four-way tie. Very well done. We don't have a tiebreaker in place because everybody wins. Because the everybody point was wins. making friends along the way, and you know that was the real treasure. Saying goes. Uh, what a fun time! Thank you so much, everybody, for, yes. for uh, <laughs> joining us for that quiz. Like I said, we're going to do another one of these in a couple weeks on uh, the next Tabletop Live Network event. Uh, we're going to scoot out of here so we can let the next yeah. show get ready to go. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. We are the Brothers Murph. If you enjoy this type of stuff, we're live on Twitch all the time at twitch.tv slash the Brothers Murph. Uh, Indeed. So give us a give us a go. We play games every yeah. week. And uh, again, in two weeks, we have another quiz over on our channel. So yeah. come check it out. Be here for that. Yeah. Fun. Um, so uh yeah, and thanks good again, game. Yeah. Thank you, Board Nice, for having us. Check out all the other shows going on. Board Nice, there's all sorts of things going on today and tomorrow. Checking out, learning stuff about upcoming releases and demos and all sorts of stuff. So do hang out. I just found a dog. Hello, dog. Hi, puppy. Um, and we'll see you all uh, real soon, we hope. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah. Oh, hello, dog. Hi, puppy. Puppy's trying to get in on the end of this thing. Oh, hi, Mary Berry. Oh, my gosh. Face. Oh, oh my hi, goodness. Baby.